Hi everybody, Kate here from These Bird and Rants on Monday the 24th of April in today's Back Pages. Gracia defiant in Leicester chances. Under 21 shine at Borough. Leeds women fall to the magpies. Loney drama and more transfer nonsense from Orta and Co. Let's go. <laughs> Now, in today's main team news, the Daily Mail reports today that Javi Gracia insists that tomorrow's clash with Leicester will be different to the shambles we've seen from Leeds over the past three matches. Of course, goals from Harry Wilson and Andreas Pereira consigned Leeds to their third defeat in as many matches, with Gracia refusing to play his best assets, leaving Nonto and Sinistera on the bench. In his post-match interview, Gracia stated, it'll be different this time in our stadium. It'll be different and we believe we can get the victory of course I'm sure really Javi is that a Crystal Palace 5-1 shellacking victory or a Liverpool 6-1 shellacking victory because I for one am not buying it until or unless some massive changes are made in under 21's team news maybe Javi should give some game time to some of our under 21's who were victorious at the weekend they secured a much needed win against Borough on Sunday to put them second in Division 2 behind Nottingham Forest after Borough took the lead in the first 20 minutes goals from Charlie Allen Archie Gray and Sonny Perkins saw Paco Gallardo's side win at the LNR Stadium in York now the Whites need only one more point from their away game against West Brom on Friday to win League 2 and game promotion if only that was the same for our main team now in terms of Leeds women not such good news for them who despite a brave effort succumbed to a heavy defeat against title chasing magpies on Sunday having lost just twice at the Sotrack Stadium this season Leeds were on the end of a 5-1 thrashing with only white, the only white's goal coming in the 74th minute from Abby Brown Loney news now and worrying news for fans of Leeds United Loney Cody Drama uh, Luton today reporting that promotion hopefuls Luton Town want to sign the 20 three-year-old on a permanent basis in the summer. The defender who made only eight first team appearances since signing for Leeds in 2020 has been outstanding since joining uh, Luton on loan in January. He's made 14 appearances. He's already got two assists to his name and is described by Hatters fans as bringing pace and guile with a great engine and reading the ball well. Drama himself has yet to decide whether or not he's going to play for Luton or Leeds uh, next season, of course, with Leeds hovering precariously over the relegation zone but uh, I for one think that it would be criminal uh, to let this guy go personally I think with our current crop of woeful defenders it'll be a travesty to let him go if we did go down perhaps it could be he could be part of the rebuild moving forward but who knows would he really want that after the bit the way he's being treated by Leeds I doubt it and finally, transfer news. Ilya Sakamac is reportedly waiting to see if Leeds remain in the Premiership before signing for the Whites. This is despite rumours to the contrary earlier on uh, this year, which said that basically he would be prepared to move whether or not we stayed up or went down. With the deal almost done, the left-footed forward, who's been linked with Ellen Road since the beginning of the year, apparently favours a move to Leeds over other potential clubs, including, can you believe, Arsenal and AC Milan. Whether or not the move goes through, if Leeds are relegated, remains to be seen. Uh, but I, for one, uh, think that he will be a great asset, despite his age, to our front line. In other transfer news, Leeds are apparently eyeing up another winger. Yes, another winger. Scotland under-18 international Josh McDonald is currently on Victor Orta's hit list apparently, proving yet again that the Leeds sporting director is oblivious to the huge imbalance of the current team and the clamouring for a strong defence as he continues to purchase players purely for profit. The last thing Leeds United need, and you know as well as I do, is more wingers. What about a proven attack threat like Bell, Berrett and Diaz from Blackburn or Victor Giacores from Coventry? What about defenders with excellent records Ian Matson at Burnley or Max Ahrens at Norwich when will the powers that be in Leeds United a pick experience over youth at least some of the time and b play the best players we have instead of leaving them on the bench I heard Connor say today 
not starting Willy Nonto is like Man City not starting Erling, Erling Haaland or or Arsenal not starting a Gabriel Jesus. He's the only attacking threat we've got on the field. He needs to start. But I'm not going to go into that. I'll maybe mention that in my match preview, which I'll, I'll be putting out later on today. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. If you can, it's squeaky bum time, isn't it? I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell if you would be so kind. It really helps me out. Take care. Bye-bye.